Hello, Leos. I'm going to look into your situation, um, whatever the cards want to say, whatever your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, whatever action they might be taking towards you in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, the last reading I did, I got that there was magic involved, possibly, and that the karmic might have been involved with that. Um, and they had some sort of burst of truth and clarity, and, and someone wants to talk to you now, now that they've gotten this, this clarity come in for them. They want to have an open heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. So let's see what the current energy is. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Passion, romance, spying, mental instability, social media. So it's interesting we have spying and then we have social media down here. Third party. Yeah, this does seem like a third party situation. Hmm. Third party isn't always a person, too, either. It, it could also just be some kind of energy that's basically distracted them from you. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Hidden truth. X, the past. Okay. This is interesting. There's something going on here. Hmm. Let me get that straightened out for you more. Sorry. That's a little bit better. It almost feels like this person is a little bit obsessed with you in a way. Sorry, let me straighten that out. There we go. It's a little better. Because I'm getting that things telepathically are so much different than they are consciously for you too, if that makes sense. Like their soul wants to be with you. Their soul, their soul feels a connection with you, but like on a conscious level there's a lot going on that's blocking it, if that makes sense. So sometimes you channel them, like sometimes you might have dreams about them or you just, you know, pick up on their energy. Um, you just feel that connection with them. But it's like you're feeling like their soul. You're feeling them telepathically. But what's going on consciously is almost a block to that, if that makes sense. Like all this passion and romance is there on the 5D, you know, through dreams, visions, telepathic communication. It does feel like they are physically spying on you, like spying on your social media. It almost feels like maybe like low-key obsession here, mental instability. I also take it to be a karmic that might be mentally unstable, because we also have publicity social media here. So there is some kind of like public spying that this person is doing on you is what I'm feeling. It does feel like there's a distraction though, like a third party karmic. Um, I'm getting that this person is, your person is coming to some serious conclusions and, and a new sense of awareness about what's going on in their life. Um, I feel like maybe you tried to warn them about certain things or maybe they had like a toxic karmic around them or toxic friends, toxic family members, um, toxic, you know, roommates, living situations, whatever it is. I feel like you kind of pushed them to better their life. Like you were trying to protect them, trying to help them, trying to get them on a better path. And it feels like there, it feels like your your intentions to protect them and help them heal are are working now. It feels like it's affecting them. It feels like this person has come to some kind of realization about some kind of a third party energy that was keeping them away from you. And I don't think that they realized it did before. I don't think they realized it before. Could be some throat chakra blocks here too. Oh my gosh. Um. But yeah, I don't. I don't think that they realized these 
the toxic energy around them before. I think maybe their vibration was lower, so they were just sort of used to this toxic energy. They didn't really think much of it, but now they're going through a spiritual awakening, so they're starting to look around them, and they're starting to want to change their life more. They're starting to notice maybe things about their life that you pointed out in the past or just things that they need to better about themselves, about their situation, whatever it might be. It feels like there's some kind of toxic energy around them, though. I'm thinking, so for some of you, for some of you, there was a karmic that did witchcraft on your person to keep them tied down to them, like doing like love spells and that kind of thing to keep them stuck. And I think that your person just found out that they were doing black magic on them. That's the energy I'm getting here. I'm getting that some kind of awareness just took place. Like your your person just opened their like like they just opened their eyes. They just had some kind of epiphany, some kind of awareness. Like they found out some sort of hidden truth regarding um the people regarding the people around them, something toxic around them. They they found out the truth about something. Which makes sense because it almost feels like this person's soul is fighting to get them out of whatever this situation is. Because the last reading I did, I was also getting that magic might have been involved. Not for all of you, but for a good good portion of you. But they had some kind of burst of like truth and clarity and they wanted to talk to you. Like maybe they wanted to kind of confirm some of the things that you told them before. Like maybe... You know, you've been in, you know, in the higher realms or even physically, you've been protecting them in some way. And they wanted to maybe clarify things with you. Maybe they wanted to, to get some confirmation from you, ask you about this energy. I'm almost getting like a back and forth though. Like they, they kind of like woke up and then someone tried to pull them back in. They did like another black magic love spell or um, whatever it is they did to them to try to confuse them again. And it worked for a little bit, but now this person's intuition and their guides are coming through stronger and stronger. So now they're like, no, wait a minute. Like they caught the karmic doing black magic on them, I think. Like they found out through the karmic's friends or like they found like remnants of a spell in the trash can or like they found remnants of a spell. Like, you know, they came home from work early and found the karmic doing spell work. And, you know, they, they caught the karmic red handed. Like something happened where your person knows now that the karmic has been doing black magic love spells on them or glamour spells or something of that sort for others. So for most of you, it feels like witchcraft for some of you, it might not be witchcraft for some of you. It might just be like a toxic friend or family member or, um, like living situation or a toxic karmic. And you've kind of known that this person's bad for them, or you've known that they could do better. And maybe they didn't listen to you. Maybe they didn't, you know, couldn't see it for themselves. They didn't want to better their lives. They didn't want to, you know, take the steps to, it's like they just had blinders on and they've taken that blindfold off now. So they've come to some sort of realization. So if it, if it wasn't them finding out about witchcraft, it would have been, you know, like having an argument, like an expo explosive argument with this family member or friend or karmic, um, or like if it's like a, a work situation, like they, they caught, caught their boss, like stealing money or something, or they, they realize that the people around them, they're just, it's just this energy of them realizing that someone around them, maybe multiple people around them are shady and negative and they're wanting more for their life. Like some kind of really dark, intense truth has come out is what I'm getting here. So yeah, for a lot of you, it's it's that they just found out that the karmic was doing black magic. But for others, the secret could be something else. The secret could be like, like I said, like someone stealing money. Um, it could be an explosive argument where maybe it got heated and the truth just came out. Maybe they caught the karmic cheating or they caught the karmic something. Something intense just happened in March is what I'm getting. I kept hearing March, March, March before I did this video. I was like thinking, I'm like, I'm going to do the Leo video. And like, I kept hearing March, March, March. I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? And I'm like, okay, maybe it's saying like something just happened this month or, you know, in March. Like something has just taken place. Um... So it just feels like there's some kind of, like they're, they're kind of guarded and cold and distant with this person. Now it doesn't feel like they're with the, like they're not with you. It feels like they're with this person. Like they're 
you might have told them about this truth and they were in denial, but now they're they're taking the mask off and they're looking at it, you know? There's just some kind of hidden truth that's just come out here is what I'm getting. And if this is your story and you want me to look in depth into it, into the karmic, into your person, third party, whatever you want to know, uh, just send me an email. I do paid private readings. My email is in the description box right below this video. So you can just copy and paste it. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is right below. You can just click it. Uh, Cash app is below too. So thank you for that. All right, let's see what else we can get. Clubs, parties, social life. Loyalty, stability, vows. Hmm. Domination, control. Hmm. I feel like for those of you that are in like a third party situation, your person is going through the karma of what they did to you. Like if they chose another person over you or they cheated on you and then left you for this other person, they're now going through their karma and the karmic that they're with now is partying or, you know, going out with other, other men, other women. And promising to be loyal, to be stable, you know, making these empty promises. And your person is starting to realize that they're actually being cheated on or that they're they're doing black magic. They're doing something. They're realizing the grass was not greener on the other side, basically. The karmic is basically screwing them over. Something, some hidden truth, whether this is a lover, whether this karmic is a lover or a family member or a friend, some hidden truth came out about this karmic that was really intense. Like they got caught, like they got caught cheating. They got caught doing black magic. They got caught doing something really intense. And so your person is kind of realizing like, this is just domination, you know, like domination control, like the loyalty, it's just empty promises with the karmic. Um, they're just doing it to control the situation, to be, you know, dominant, to, to get things to where they want them to be again. And again, this could be your person's karma if they did this to you. Now it's coming back on them and the karmic is screwing them over the way that they screwed you over. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, they're wanting to come back to you now, I think, because there's something, something just happened with the karmic. Whatever it is, it's really explosive and it's like they're... It was a huge betrayal that your person just went through. Like it really, it really feels like they got caught. Like they actually, I mean, it could be like an argument with the karma confessed, but it honestly more, it feels more like they actually got caught. Like they actually came home, like your person came home from work early and um, saw the karmic doing black magic or like they were, out in, in public and they saw, you know, their, their, the karmic that they're dating, they saw them with another person out in public or something, or like their friends told them about, you know, the, hey, the karmic's cheating on you, something like, something like that, where the karmic really got caught. So your person's pretty pissed about the situation right now. They're a little obsessed with you. There's still this crazy energy blocking though. Cause now they're missing, they're missing the connection with you, beauty, mystery, enchantment, but they keep overthinking it, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. Thinking it might be too late, which makes sense. I mean, if they chose someone else, it makes sense that they would think it'd be too late, you know, cause they messed up. Yeah. There's a lot of confusion, uncertainty about where you guys stand now. It does feel like they're wanting to make a love offer towards you, though, despite the fact that they're confused. It seems like a very hesitant kind of nervous love offer, though, because they're like they don't think that they have a chance with you. So it's almost like almost like they're in this mindset of like, well, what is there to lose? Like, I don't think I have a chance with this person, but, you know, why not? Like, why not try? <laughs> you know, it, it, there, it does seem like they're wanting to make a move despite all the uncertainty. Um They're trying to manifest this too. 
if your person does magic, it's weird because if your person does magic, they might be doing magic on you, like love drawing spells to get you back. While simultaneous, simultaneously, the karmic is also doing magic on them. It's a weird situation you're in, um, whoever this is for. <laughs> and again, it might not be, I mean, the situation could be a little bit different for each one of you. I mean, it's, it's the general energy. Like it might, like I said, it might not be witchcraft. It could totally be that they cheated or something like that. And that's, that came out, but yeah, they've been kind of trapped. It does feel like they're nostalgic for you. What do you what do we need to know about this situation? What's their their likely what are they likely to do towards you over the next uh, couple weeks? Reconciliation. They're wanting a reconciliation, it looks like. Open honest communication message. Yeah, it looks like there's I don't think that they have a lot of faith that they have another chance with you, is what I'm getting here. I'm not feeling like I'm feeling like they want to message you, but it's almost like I don't know how trustworthy it is. Like open, honest communication message. It's like they're missing the friendship and they're missing the support. Um, I just don't know how trustworthy it is because it's like they chose this other person and now that it's like chaotic with this person, now they want to come crawling back to you. You know what I mean? So it's like, do you want it back? Like, do you really want it back at this point? I don't know. But it looks like they want to come in fast. Yeah. Because I think something, it feels like, like, choose a path. Yeah, like, they're wanting to choose a path fast. It kind of feels like, um, it feels like, the, I hate to say it, but it feels like the karmic was their first choice. Um, it does feel like they do have feelings for you. I mean, they feel that, like, obsessive kind of energy. Like, it feels like they watch you and they think about you. It feels like they spy on your social media a lot, like, especially late at night, um, trying to see who you're, what you're with, like... I was going to say who you're doing, trying to see who you're doing. No, trying to see what you're doing, who you're with, <laughs> um, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with you and just like looking at old pictures. Some of them might have some old pictures of you two saved in their phone that they like to look at, um, you know, or pictures like maybe if you've kept pictures up of you and them on social media, like they go to your profile to see those pictures because they can't, some of them can't have them in their phone because of the karmic. If they're, if for those of you that are living with that, your person's living with the karmic that is, but it's kind of like a screwy energy. Cause it's like, they chose the karmic. They were loyal to the karmic. They were trying to, that was their person. I mean, that they were deciding that was their person. They were deciding that was their path, but then something explosive just happened within the past month. I'm getting March. So I feel like this happened in March. I'm going to guess for most of you. And it's just kind of screwy because it's like, oh, now they want to come back to you now that something's happened with the karmic. You know what I mean? Like they caught, like I said, they caught the karmic cheating or doing black magic. They're pissed at the karmic. I can feel that energy. Like some whatever just happened, whatever what was, it wasn't something small. It wasn't like them kind of flirting with someone else. This was like they got caught like making out with someone else. They got caught like middle of lighting a candle to do a love spell. You know what I mean? Like that kind of energy. Like they really got caught. Like they're, your person's pissed. Um, and they miss the friendship and the support with you among other things. Like they miss, I think that you know about this stuff. Like maybe you're a witch too, or maybe you know about the spiritual side of things. So they feel like you're someone that they could talk to about this. Like they could like say, Hey, this happened. Like, what is, what does this mean? Like, or like, Hey, I found like, I found a, you know, a, bag with herbs and my hair in it, you know, in the sock drawer, what does that mean? You know, something like that, where it's like, maybe you're, maybe you and the karmic are both witches for some of you. Um, and they're, they're kind of wanting to message and be like, uh, I found this, I found this mojo bag. What is, what is it? What is this? Or like, I saw her doing a candle spell. I saw her like lighting a candle and chanting something. What does that mean? Like, like you, you do the karmic, your person's like trying to figure it out, you know? Um, so they're, they're wanting to like talk to you and like kind of understand things, but, and they're wanting that support and that connection. And it's like, they do miss you, but it just feels like, it feels like they're coming, crawling back to you because they, you know, they got betrayed by the karmic. So now it's like, they want to, you know, they want like that old reliable kind of energy back. They want, they want to come crawling back now. Cause it's like this betrayal messed things up for them in the karmic where it's like, they can't really go back now. They're too mad. They're too angry. They might still be with the karmic, but things are not going to go back to how they used to be from what I'm getting here. Like the betrayal was too intense. 
Um, the trust is gone between them now. I think they're probably fighting is the energy that I'm feeling here. So, yeah, it's an interesting reading. Um, so, it's the, you know, current action towards you, it seems like they are wanting to message. Um, they are, it seems like they're wanting to come in quick too, especially with how mad they are at the karmic, like they're wanting to talk to you. I think they want clarity from you. Like maybe, maybe you know about what's going on with the karmic or maybe you warned them about the karmic or whoever this person is, family, friend, whoever it is. Maybe you warned them about this situation before, but they didn't take it seriously. And now they want to message you and be like, okay, like what, what is this? What does this energy mean? Like, tell me about this stuff. You know, like they, they, they feel like you, whatever this is, they feel like you have answers about what they're going through right now with the karmic. Like they feel for whatever reason, they feel like you understand this energy and you can explain it to them in simpler terms because they feel like they can't trust the karmic. They feel like they can't get the truth from the karmic. So it seems like they're wanting to talk to you. Um, I mean, I, I do feel that they miss you, but it's like you, you know, that was, they, they chose the karmic though, so which is kind of like a screwy energy. So I don't know. Um, hmm. Is there someone else coming in? Anger, miscommunication. Pulling up slowly. There might have been some miscommunication here, and now so it's like someone's going more slowly and kind of just waiting because of the miscommunication. I mean, you can always cut this person out and decide to, you know, start a new story with someone new. It just feels like you were like a second choice, unfortunately. Like maybe they. But I mean, if this, if they had someone doing love spells on them, I guess that would also make sense that they might've been kind of infatuated with this person and it wasn't really of their own will. I mean, it's hard to do love spells on someone that doesn't already have feelings for you. You know what I mean? Like, unless this person was doing really, really dark, like intense, like high level magic. Um, but in general, like it's kind of difficult unless the person already has feelings for you. But I, I guess they, you know, this person could, depending on how powerful a witch the karmic is, I guess they could have amplified this person's feelings or, you know, maybe told rumors or lies that's, that separated you guys. But, but yeah, it looks, it does seem like your person is wanting to, you know, that's the, the current energy is your person's wanting to talk to you. They're wanting clarity. They're wanting, they're wanting to reestablish the connection with you. I don't know if it's going to be a friendship or romantic though. I know that they're missing the friendship aspect of it. Like they're missing, like you guys could talk to each other. You're someone that they really trust. They feel like they can't trust the people around them, but they can trust you. Um, but it's kind of up in the air whether that's going to lead to something romantic or not right now. But, um, and each story is different, you know? So if, if you'd like a personal reading, I can do that and I can look more into if it's romantic, not romantic, like what they're feeling, what they're thinking. Um, but in general, for a lot of you, it just kind of seems like the first step is just them wanting to finally reach out and communicate instead of just spying on you and looking at your pictures. And it does seem like they have the intention of doing that soon with what's going on with the karmic right now. So anyway, if you'd like a private reading, my um, my email is below. Like I said, it's in the description box right below this video. Um, any donations are appreciated. And I thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks.